Good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to do the IGCC ICT paper 3 October and November June 2000 November 2010. Now follow the instructions and uh, do the questions. The very first question that they are asking you is to create a new word process document. Uh, why they are asking you is that so that you can put all your screenshots and the evidences of your completed task over here and that will go as evidence once you will complete your practical okay so this is very simple just go to the Microsoft Word document and you have to name this as evidence okay so just go there save as evidence into your work area means on the desktop you can save it with this name just give it this name go to the desktop and save now they are asking you to uh, place your send name center number candidate number in the header of this document very simple just go to insert go to header and select the header which is having three blank columns so that you can simply just select this one that is name sorry and then your center number and then last is your candidate number so close the header this is how it is save it and keep it open so that you can once you will complete each task you can you can put the evidence over there now what they are asking you you work for a company called Hoth House Design you are going to multiply manipulate a spreadsheet about some holiday bookings for a client called the relaxing holiday company now what you have to do is you have to manipulate this spreadsheet and you have to use certain formulas let's see what they are asking you now here they are asking you using a suitable software package that is uh, Microsoft uh, Excel you have to load this file that is nxsheet.csv we have it over here we have already have it on my desktop so this is the uh, nx sheet I have already opened so let me close that and we'll open this again okay now open it just double click and it will open it's a csv file that is comma separated value file and we need to manipulate this according to the requirements now this is what it is so this is what we have to manipulate they are asking us to open one more file that i have already opened that is nxdst.csv okay now here they are asking you place your name candidate number center number in the header now let's see how to put the name candidate number go to the file option go to print option and then over there go to the page setup and then go to header and footer say custom header now over here it should be your name second is the center number and the third is the candy date number okay this is how you did that okay now go to the custom footer and see what they are asking you okay We'll do that later on okay okay now we'll start with our work go to the home okay now in the destination column that is this one use a lookup function to show the destination name in full in full means it has to come full should not be overlapped it should be visible to everyone it should not overlap now use the code column for the lookup value and the file nxdst.csv for the array array is the table from where we have to look up the values this function must include both absolute and relative referencing must not use a named range for the you know what an relative and absolute referencing see the earlier video that i have uploaded you will come to know what is relative and absolute referencing okay now come over here over here they are asking us to put a formula that is the lookup value 
so just time look up and we'll go for the lookup now we have to look up we have to select this one lookup value and array and this window will open okay now the lookup value is we have to this is the lookup value that we have to look for now the array is oh I can close the file now let's open that one again okay let's close this open that file that file is open now now we'll do it again now this is it and this is the array file select this table remember this is uh, you have to select the content of the table not the labels not the headings of it okay now you can see the result has already come that is Brazil now BRA stands for Brazil so we had inserted this formula now let's see they said replicate this function so the destination name is in full for each of the codes so we just drag this formula we'll replicate it and we can see that all the names are coming for these codes okay we'll quickly go to the other one that says create a named range for the cell d2 to d98 inclusive call this range as dc now dc is this one this is d25 we will select this till d98 and we can rename this as dc range name means we are giving a name to this particular range so this becomes dc okay and take a screenshot you can take a screenshot of this and put it over there in the evidence document include this screenshot created over there create a named range called as again another one that is from e25 to d9 e98 now this is e25 to e98 we'll be calling this as di okay then again take a screenshot and put it over there create a, again as another one that is f25 to f98 and call it as du so f25 to f98 we are calling it as du okay so we had made three named ranges over here again you have to take a screenshot of it in cell d2 use a function to count the number of trips to the destination where the value in the decode column matches the contents of cell b2 this function must include must use the correct name range now what they're asking us that we should count we should use a function over here which should count the number of trips each country has so what we do is we'll put a function called as count if and the range will be okay this will select the range so range range will be this one okay that is our see we can see the name range is dc and the criteria will be the b2 now you can see it is coming exactly correct and our name range are also seen over here now we can replicate this as they are asking us in the next point replicate this function that we have already done okay now let's see what they are asking us next is in cell e2 use a formula to calculate the average duration of the holidays book to this destination use the values in the c2 d2 to help you okay uh, sorry yeah before that this is question number 10 cell d2 use a function to add the total number of days total number of days, days over here we have to calculate okay using a duration column book for this destination okay now here we are going to put a formula called as sum f now here the range will be mm, total number of days booked for this destination okay so the range will be the duration range will be this sorry 
that is our DC okay that is our name range the criteria will be B2 and I'm putting up DU as the name range okay so DU is now we can see that it has counted the number of days for this particular destination we can say okay and now we can replicate this function okay so this is how you have to do question number 10 replicate this function we did that now we can go over here that says in cell e2 use a formula to calculate the average duration of the holidays booked to this destination use the values cell c2 d2 to help you out now what we have to do is we have to uh, find out the average okay so for that what we do is and we have to uh, do one more thing that is we need to round this value to a whole number so that it should not come into fractional value so we'll we'll use a function called as round sorry equals to round okay uh, and what we have to round is we have to round we have to take out the average that is uh, d2 sorry by c2 okay and we have to round this to zero decimal value so that sorry 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 Oh, okay. This by this. We need one more bracket over here. Now it's coming fine. And then we replicate this one. Okay. And we can see the average duration for this. I hope you will understand this. The later part of it will be coming soon. Thank you.